This battle station is, is fully, fully operational. <laughs> Your friends will die, young Skywalker. Yeah. So good. Welcome back to Odds of War. I'm Matt. And I'm Rico. And we have a classic matchup today between the Gene Stealer cults, the Cult of the Fang Shadow, so so and scared. the Imperial Guard. Glorious indeed for the Emperor. The brave members of a planetary defense force find themselves on a dangerous mission. The job? Quell an uprising of a gene stealer cult. Out to prove that they're the best of the best, they know they're woefully outnumbered. But hey, when the choice is death at the hands of derelict mining tools by a mutant and a Xenos, or death at the business end of their commissar's bolt pistol, well, the Emperor protects. Brothers, these fools think they can take us out? Well, the Cult of the Fang Shadow will teach them the four-armed Emperor's justice. Today, on Odds of War. Rico, welcome back. Thank you. You've Thank been you on back. a bit of a tear lately uh, a bit, here yeah. on the channel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we last last two times we saw you, uh, you brought the Iron Warriors and uh, laid a whooping up on the Adeptus Mechanicus. <laughs> just barely, actually. Then you brought the Orcs. Yeah. And you showed the Thousand Suns what for. Again, just barely. Yeah. But, uh, and then now today, mm -hmm. we're going to see if you're like Ooh. a jackbooted thug Ooh. keeping keeping the honest men down. <laughs> Can I goose step into these miners' house yes. and kick in the door? I'm going to find yes. out today. I'm really excited for this. I haven't brought the Gene Stealer cults out mm -hmm. for a while uh, on the that. channel yeah. or just yeah. in our like play. Bit. So I'm, I'm really excited to get them uh, back going again. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited about the matchup too here yes. of Gene Stealer Cult versus Guard. It's a really nice uh, matchup here. It's yeah, and, and it's nice It's nice narratively as well. I love it too. You know. Yeah. Um, I was telling you off camera, it's going to be nice to actually wound things on a four with a last gun instead yes. of a five. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So and uh, yes, and, and like my reply was off camera, I've got... Got something a little cheeky for you here. Oh, I'm, I'm so, excited to see it. So yes, uh, we're about to talk to about the lists, guys. If that's not your thing, you can skip straight to the battle report. The timestamps are going to be in the description below. And for those of you on mobile, I'll make sure to pin a comment uh, down in the comment section with the timestamps as well, so that you can use those there. But if you're still here with us, that means you want to hear us wax poetic about these lists. I can't wait to. It's going to be so nice. So uh, Rico, why don't you, I started off last time, okay. uh, so why don't you sure. start us off I'd this time. So, what are you bringing of the Astra Militarum? Uh, first off, I'm trying something new. I'm trying Vestroian. So that's okay. already new and different. All right, and um, that does? All it does is it takes away the uh, range penalty for my guns. Okay. So which means uh, if you're unobscured and you're at 24 inches, I can hit you full, full on Full ballistic gun, skill. No Ooh, problem. very nice. So that's already pretty great. Yeah. Uh, secondly, uh, I'm bringing Guard, obviously, Astro Militarum. Um, but I'm bringing new models that I actually recently picked up. Okay. Which are different from my old Guard. Yes. Which are a little more gene stealer. Yeah, yeah, ]ish. they're a little. Yeah. Yeah, we found out they weren't they weren't quite, quite on the quite up and loyal. up. So yeah. we decided to boot them out and bring in some new dudes. Okay. So, okay. Uh, I still have those guys, but uh, I'm slowly gonna convert over these guys because these guys are a little more Kriegy. You know, yeah. they look with the gas yeah. mask feel. But anyway, that's a, that's other here nor there. Uh, I've got two groups. Obviously, you can see here. This is just to differentiate my specialists from my regular guys. Uh, I have two plasma wielding uh, farmers and my battle yeti. Battle yeti is going to be combat. Okay. Uh, plasma again with the uh, backpack is going to be my sniper, and then plasma guy without a backpack is going to be my veteran. Mm, so some mm, high okay. speed movement. Yeah. So he's like plasma. out. <laughs> oh yeah. He's 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 built for speed and not yeah. not, not for anything else. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. I got my leader, who is same leader as last time. But now he's got a new fancy hat, so he's sending a fancy hat. Yes, and uh, very yet nice. again, his head does come off. So if you, do, I will be trying if you to do, do something get a cool. Sweet coup de gras. Yeah. I'll be happy to let that just fall yeah. right off. No problem there. Definitely. Uh, and then uh, from the rest of my guys, I've just got a regular Bulgrin. Um, who, yep. By the way, they're both Bulgrin with slab shields and slab shields balls. and mauls. Okay. Um, this Scary. Combat. This one's nothing. Just a basic guy. And then just simple 
Simple little group of uh, professional soldiers. One of them has a Vox caster, so as long as he's not shaken, I can reroll film okay. tests. Okay, okay. And that is, uh, I believe, 125 around the nose. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're playing at 125 today uh, so that you can take those sweet, sweet Bulgrins. Sweet, yeah. sweet Yeti action. I love we it. are going to see how they uh, match up against the Cult of the Fanged Shadow. I'm excited. Uh, today, we're floating at like 123. Three or 122 points. Okay. Again, the lists are in the description below, so you can check them out there. I'm really excited. Okay, so today uh, I've got, mm -hmm. as always, you know him, you love him. It's Yorl Kraus. Your boy. There it's your is. boy, Yorl Kraus, <laughs> leader of the Cult of the Fang Shadow with his power pick and bolt pistol. Mm -hmm. Technically, he's modeled with a Weber, uh, but honestly, the Weber is just this like weapon that's like, why? Yeah, it's, it's it, in kill team, it doesn't make sense okay. because you're dealing with almost exclusively infantry. Mm -hmm. In 40k, uh, the Weber makes sense because it deals with the difference of you get to pick whether you're attacking basically their strength or their toughness, which can really matter for certain things in 40k, but not really so much in kill team because a lot of things strength and toughness match up. I, it sounded good to somebody on the rules committee. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. But there's okay. my rant. So he's got a bolt pistol. Looks cool, at least. I love that. him. Yeah. I love him. He is a beast and a legend Ooh. here on the channel. He has made some excellent moves. I'm excited mm -hmm. to see if we can get a, a little leader on leader. Oh, we'll of see. Euro Kraus will be digging for it. Uh, for our specialists today, we have the Anvil, okay. of course. Uh, right. The Aberrant coming back. He's my combat, combat? combat? combat specialist. <laughs> Uh, and I'm excited today he's going to be running a power hammer. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so so usually I bring him with the power pick, mm -hmm. uh, but today he's going to have a power hammer, so strength times two instead of user. Okay. Uh, and then it's AP like minus three, and then damage like three. Oh. Uh, but it is a minus one to hit, so oh, he's only hitting okay. on fives, and okay. he only's got two attacks, okay, I'll take three that. with combat. So, you know, it's... It's a give and take. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's really nice if it does land because... And you have an additional... Uh, Stratagem if you take a power hammer where you um, get an extra d3 attacks, Ooh, but then you okay. have to subtract another minus one to hit. So oh. then you're then you're hitting on sixes, which is not so great. But you can get a lot of attacks. But you can there. get a lot of attacks. So Ooh, but... then we've got Xanthan, our he's our zealot specialist. I'm really excited about him. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Long-time viewers will know uh, he famously has done basically nothing for many, many games. But recently, in the last couple games, he's like powered up. Oh, and he's okay. like become a force to reckon with. Uh, he blundered through a, a full Tyranid warrior's pool of wounds with Oof. one uh, one set of attacks. So I'm excited for him. He's my zealot specialist. I think that's what happens in Kill Team. If you, if your guy survives more than like two games, eventually they he'll, start. He'll like, just go super saiyan and just start murdering everything. Yep. Yeah. Then of course uh, my heavy specialist, mm -hmm. uh, the intrepid Yorl's brother, Rouse Rouse Kraus. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. He's, of course, bringing the Seismic Cannon. Good. All right. Now, the Seismic Cannon, of course, I love because of its strat. Also, um, something I did not realize before, I don't know how I missed it, mm -hmm. all those games, but uh, but thanks to the comments, I realized I was missing it. You did it, um, The Seismic Cannon actually kind of works like a Rending Claw, where wound rolls of six are at AP minus four. Oh. So wow. that makes it, like, much better. Wow. Yeah, so if you get those wounds of six, AP minus four on that, which is really cool. Oh, it's brutal. Dropping down to non-specialists. We have a metamorph with an uh, a, a cult icon, so that right. lets me reroll ones in combat, so okay, cool. that's nice. Uh, and he's got uh, like a metamorph talent and a mm -hmm. rending claw. Uh, then we've got a two acolyte fighters, one with heavy rock drill, one with heavy rock cutter. Okay. These are the guys, they're, they're like strength eight, good Ooh. AP. Damage of some numbers, like damage two, I think, over here, damage one over here. And they each have special rules, one doing the drill, doing like extra mortal wounds, uh -huh. the uh, cutter just being like you roll uh, according to the remaining number of wounds on the model, and if you roll higher, they're just out of action. So if you, if those So he can literally cut in half here. of your, he can just cut your bulgren in half. <laughs> just bisect Just <them>. one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then we've got another acolyte fighter okay. with demolition charges. And by God, one of these days I'm going to get it to go off it, and it's, it's going to be so it's gonna cool. Be today. Hopefully today. <sighs> I hope so. By the Emperor. All, all, all four arms of them. Let's do I, this. I hope Let's so. Man, if we can make it happen, I'll be super excited. <laughs> then we've got two neophytes okay. with uh, shotguns. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
and two neophyte gunners, one with a flamer, one with a grenade launcher. Cool. Okay. okay. Now, uh, previously on the channel, I've been, I played Cult of the Forearm Dimper, mm -hmm. and I played um, Popper Princes. All right. Okay. We're moving on to a new one. It's going to be especially spicy here in this match. It's going to be really fun. Uh, we're doing Twisted Helix. Oh. Okay. The Twisted Helix, what they get is spicy. plus one to their strength characteristic. Disgusting. So okay. suddenly, even these neophytes are strength four. I already hate it. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's really great. I love it. I'm excited. Uh, and then uh, when they advance, mm -hmm. specifically advance, okay. add two inches to the roll. Ooh. So they're so, kind of like evil suns. A yeah, bit. so they're really, really fast. They're like, they're, that's the thing. They're twisted helix. They messed with their like genomes and they just became like oh, faster so and cool. stronger. Okay. But it's only when they advance. So if I take okay. a normal move, they normal. they normal move. If I fall back, if I whatever. But if they advance, they get super speedy. Why I'm excited about the plus one strength? Obviously, because then they're just, you know, even just these like basic one attack guys, still we'll strength threes. four. Yeah, we'll you know. threes now. But I'm really excited for this guy, for Xanthan. I actually made I made it Twisted Helix for him because... <laughs> you better perform because today. He's got four attacks or okay. something like that, okay? Yeah. A zealot on the charge becomes five attacks, mm. okay? He's so base strength four, yeah. which is now five with Twisted Helix, okay. which then Zealot on the charge plus one, he's now strength six. So that means he is wounding almost everything in your team on twos. Bar these two guys. Everything yes, on yeah, but oh. even, but uh, Bulgrins are what? Tough five or tough yeah, six? they're tough five. They're tough five, so he's threes. even wounding them on threes. threes. So he is a f suddenly a force to be reckoned with. Now, of course, uh, that works for the anvil as well. He's yeah. strength five base, which is mm. now strength six, and then with the hammer is now strength 12, so he's wounding everyone on twos. But, a big gratuitous, but you know, I, yeah, cool. I like but it. I love it. It's I, a street sign. It should yeah. be that powerful. Yes, I, like it, I think so too. I, we actually just uh, Carly and I rewatched The Matrix. Oh, really? And uh, oh, and we watched yeah. uh, we watched the second one because they're coming off Netflix soon. So we oh, were like, are, let's yeah. watch them before they go away. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and we just watched the second one, and there's the scene with uh, Neo and all the Agent Smiths, That's and he rips the the sign out of the ground, and it's got like the chunk at the bottom That's the amazing. same way, and so you just see like slams it into one of the agents. You should find out one what, of the agents what is written and, on that sign and painted on it. Oh one. man, I should. should do that. Yeah. Really cool. And it just, it just like, explodes on oh, like yeah. the agent the and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. so that's what I imagine with that now. He just sees like <laughs> <laughs> I am the one. Yeah. So smashing all my the dudes. The one. <laughs> the one. <laughs> that's all he says. That's all he knows how to say. That's all he says. He's like Hodor. Yeah. Just hold the door. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Okay. Uh so those are the kill teams. Uh the mission today. Uh, once again we're combing our way through uh the Kill Team Annual, we're playing uh, a Astra Militarum mission yes, yes, called right. Best of the Best, which we will talk about once we get all set up and deployed. Uh, but before we go and do that, please, if you like these episodes, make sure to hit that like button and let us know down in the comments what you like. If you see a rules error, let us know. Uh, 10 internet points to the first person, let us know about a rules error. Five internet points to the second person, and no points Zero. for anyone else. It's only for number one and number two. <laughs> uh, at the time of filming, no internet points for anyone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I also addressed some things on screen, so I feel like, you know, <laughs> I got there before you. <laughs> you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't say you couldn't, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. I mean, I'm making the rules. I award, maybe I should give myself 15 internet points. <laughs> just constantly forever. <laughs> yeah, right? Just like, I'm just giving myself points. And then, like, I make a prize, and then everyone's like, oh, who's going to win? It's like, me. I win, <laughs> and I have, like, a prize. It's just, and... it's just you cropped on this side with a fake mustache. Yeah. It was me all along. <laughs> with a fake mustache over exactly. my mustache. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Uh, and, uh, of course, if you want to see us in your feed every week, hit subscribe. It's the best way to support us. We're inching ever closer to 1,000. We're going to have a special uh, video for 1,000 subscribers. So, you know, we'll see. It'll exciting. be very exciting. exciting. Very exci we're sub 900 right now. So, really? you know, it'll be... It, we're Yeah, we're at the time of filming like 871. So it's really exciting. It's exciting. I believe in you guys. And, and, and like, thank you, you guys. It. Thank you for showing your support. We do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And with that, enough lollygagging. You ready to do it? Absolutely. Let's go. All right, so we're uh, getting all set up. You can see we have a bit of a Gene Steeler cult shanty town uh, thing happening here. Uh, before we get deployed, we did uh, do our scouting phase. Uh, Rico, you picked Eliminate Sentries because yep. uh, you thought I was going to jump up on you. Funnily enough, the Gene Steeler cults were laying in wait and we've planted a trap. I rolled a D3, uh, I just rolled a 1 
for that, which was kind of uh, disappointing. And so uh, what is going to be trapped is uh, this right here. All right. All right. We are all set up here for our mission of the best of the best. The best of the best. The PDF of this uh, lonely right. planet, as it were, is arrayed here. Uh, they've obviously been uh, tipped off to something... What needs eradicating, you know? <laughs> Some doors need kicking. Yeah, and uh, obviously they've been sent to quell this uprising here of the Gene Stealer cults. So uh, they also arrayed wide across the front uh, to try to take as much uh, ground as they can. So the mission, you'll see our deployment zones are sort of these like two rectangles here, uh, basically seven inches back from the center and then eight inches out wide. So good, good big deployment zones here. Basically, this mission, if there's only one unbroken kill team, mm -hmm. the game ends and, okay. uh, and they lose. So don't break is number right. one. Then if the game reaches its normal conclusion, which is turn, uh, you know, we go to turn four and then we roll to see if we go to five and six, you'll get two points if an enemy specialist was taken out of action by one of your specialists. Okay. And uh, you'll gain one point for every other model taken out of action by a specialist. Uh, otherwise, then that's it. So just as a quick reminder for the Gene Stealer Cult specialists, we have our Zealot Specialist Xanthan here, our Combat Specialist, uh, the Anvil, and then our Heavy Specialist here, Rouse Kraus. For the, uh, for the Astra Militarum or Imperial Guard, someone's triggered by this, we have a combat specialist, which is this uh, this running right, this guy, guy here. here. We have a veteran specialist, which is this man right here. This man down here, right behind the combat specialist. Right. Excellent. And then we have a sniper specialist, sniper specialist which right is our there. other uh, guy. And of course, we both have our leaders, Senor Fancy Hat over on this end, and uh, Yorl Kraus. Uh, oh no, he's hanging over here by Rouse. Sorry, oh, it's yeah. it's easy to get them mixed up sometimes. <laughs> what are so, you trying to say? Yeah, so that is that is the uh, game setup. Just as far as terrain goes, uh, of course, uh, everything is is how you see it. We're ruling that the bottom floor of these buildings, you'll see they're covered in rubble. Uh, the bottom floors of the building are counting as uh, difficult terrain, so they cost double movement there. Everything else is just as normal. Things like our, our uh, barrels and crates and things are vaultable. So uh, there we go. And so with that, we would be ready mm -hmm. to do initiative except that you, sir, have a veteran move to deploy, I and I'll have my indeed. cult ambush here. So uh, your veteran, obviously, is down here by your combat specialist, so yes, you're going to be is. spinning a CP right off the bat. I will indeed. Going down to one to move him. Uh, and you, would you like to advance him, or uh, do you uh, just want to move him normally? Just going to move him normally. Just moving him normally, yeah. okay. So we're going to let you do that off camera. I'm going to roll and resolve my cult ambush rolls here, okay. and then uh, and we'll come back to do initiative. Right after this. All right, so we're ready for round one here. Just to talk really quick, our veteran specialist moved up here. So mm -hmm. uh, Rico's starting down a CP. Yep. And I got four cult ambush rolls. We started off with our demolition charge man. He got his cult ambush roll, so he moved it. six inches up. Yes, uh, potentially we'll see something yes, good here. Oh yeah. Our shotgun guy uh, rocketed up the catwalk this way. Our heavy rock drill got his cult ambush, and he threaded the needle through here just to make it in. And then uh, on the wide flank, our flamer got it. So with that, we're ready to go into round one. We actually just rolled initiative off camera because uh, reasons. And uh, <laughs> Gene Stealer Cults got a five, and Astra Militarum got a six. By so, the Emperor. Yes. Uh, Astra Militarum is taking initiative for round one. We're going to go ahead and take our movements, and we'll be right back. All right, so we are at the end of the Astra Militarum movement phase. I uh, had considered using decisive move for the Gene Stealers, but I decided not to. So Rico, uh, tell us what you've done with the Astra Militarum. Uh, pretty straightforward turn. What I've decided to do is ready up most of my models. Okay. Uh, starting with the Plasma Veteran Specialist. Yes, of there. course, yep. Uh, the Sniper Specialist also mm -hmm. ready up, along with these two Guardsmen down here. Yep. I mean, us are up here. And then uh, this Lone Guardsman here, he read it up along with my leader. Mm -hmm. And then this Guardsman who I <laughs> suddenly realized is the only guy with a with a, uh, a comms pack. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, a, a box a caster. Box caster. Yeah. Um, he was, yeah, he was sitting top all the, the way up here, yeah. And he's so the only he... guy that lets me reroll failed nurse tests as long yeah. as he's not shaken. So yeah, I so that's pretty big. Moved in advance him with a six, and so he's down there. Nice and right, safe. right. And yeah, yeah, rolled, rolled the big boy six there. Maybe and then uh, and then we just have your Bulgrins here, oh, yeah. huh? Both of them are going to declare charges. Cool. Uh, so 
what uh, what we'll do b before we do our charges. Uh, I'm sure thirsty members of the audience will realize that this uh, veteran moved within my trap. Oh, so no. So these barrels were actually trapped. So we're going to go ahead and roll and um, find out if your veteran ever even got to ready. Do it. Because he'll take a mortal wound. Mm -hmm. No, oh, not on a five. So oh, could have been cool. But now close. that is... Uh, dangerous terrain, the barrels and then uh, one inch around them are all dangerous terrain. Wow. So okay. if he moves at all, he'll have to take a dangerous terrain test from like there this. on out. Oh, so you can imagine just uh, flames billowing out of here and he's maybe, you know, luckily he's got his gas mask on. So he's he's pretty OK with the uh, with the heat. So who's, uh, who's charge do you want to do first? So we'll do uh, main event here in the center. We'll okay, combat okay. Specialist. combat specialist here. Yeah, right and here. now uh, you measured it up, and what do you need to, for that? Because um, we'd have to be going around right. this. From what I saw when I last time I measured up, it was about a nine to get within an inch of them. So a nine will get me to about there. All right, so so a nine to get us in there. Uh, I'm, I'm betting that you can't make it in, and even if you do, that is still a heavy rock cutter, and then you're... Uh, you're up into uh, the anvil's striking distance. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to retreat. Okay. Um, now I do have a uh, I do have an auto pistol, and I believe I can see you. Um, what do you say? Would, would you say uh, since you're over on that side, uh, you want to take a peek? Can I see? Can I see him? I mean, he is behind the rock, so it's a bit bit mm -hmm. of a tough judge. Um, I'll give it to him. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll just take a yeah. we'll just take a little uh, auto pistol shot on a six. No. Okay. All right, and your charge range, Here looking for a nine. Here we go. No. Oh, not seven. quite with a seven. Right. But you can't take the seven inches of movement. You just have to move the full seven towards um, towards old. That's Guar, by the way. That's Guar? That's Ooh. Guar. Yeah, you got you to gotta move the full seven. I'll let you think about it, because yeah. let's go over here. Okay. So now this is your normal Bulgren, right. and he's charging my... Demolition charge guy. Now, not to be scared, uh, he, he if you make this charge, he's going to be dead. <laughs> but it is, we measured it up, it's a seven. Okay. So you got to roll a seven to get that. So uh, once again, I'm not going to I'm not gonna retreat, but I will just take, uh, once again, I have a little auto pistol shot on a six. Hey. Oh. Nice. Strength three. Up to five. No. No. Oh, so close, though. Almost had it. All right. And with that, would you like to do your charge roll? Looking for a seven. One more time, everybody. Hey! Oh there we my go. gosh! Well, didn't I'm glad you it. didn't do that in the reverse order because <laughs> he would have made it in with the box cars there, oh, and then uh, and then this guy's in. Uh, so we'll move him in. Uh, you can't with a 12. You could go all the way around behind him if you like. It's you know that's totally up to you. You don't have to. Uh, but uh, so we'll move him in off camera in just a second, and uh, and then we'll decide what we're doing with this guy, if he's gonna take his seven inch move or not. And then we'll take our Gene Stealer Cult moves and we'll be right back. We are partway done with the Gene Stealer Cult movement phase. We've uh, we've got some some things to do. We got some charges to do and then we'll, we'll figure out the rest. So to start off with our Flamer gentleman here advanced, that Twisted Helix coming in big time, got him all the way over here. He's standing on top of these barrels and he can just see him and this guardsman can just see each other. So if this guardsman fails to take him out of action, he's about to get roasted by a flamer. Oh boy. Our shotgun guy, he was previously over here, but again, that twisted helix coming in huge for the advance rolls. It's got him around here to a potential turn one snipe of that leader there. He's peeking around the corner. Could be big, could be big. Obviously we're locked in combat here. Our other shotgun uh, wielding neophyte, he advanced up using, he had to go through, of course, the difficult terrain. He he actually rolled uh, a grand total of a six, four plus the two from Twisted Helix, mm -hmm. but uh, used it up just to get him into that cover there. And then our grenade launcher neophyte readied up here because he's got some juicy targets just right across the catwalks over this way. All right, uh, and then now we have a bunch of charges to do, uh, which we wanted to catch on camera because they're going to be they're going to be uh, potentially really big. To start off with, we're going to actually do the most impactful one. It's going to be the anvil. Ooh. He is going to charge the Bulgren, so there's no Overwatch there, so we don't have to worry about it. Right. And our veteran plasma guy, which, uh, you know, unfortunately, oh, he yeah. survived that trap. So Anvil's <laughs> got to take him down. So uh, first off, your Overwatch, sir. Yes, which and I will. I will overcharge. You're going to you're going to overcharge. Oh him. yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So two shots hitting on sixes. Does he burn himself out? No. No, but no hits. All right, and we measured it up off camera. So for the Anvil, it's a 10 inch to get here into the gunner and then a six inch to get into the uh the bulgren here so 
Hopefully, hoping for a 10, but uh, really just a six will be fine with us. That is a Ooh. nine. Oh, we're so close to making it in wow. to the veteran gunner, but we will take that. So he'll move. Uh, so it was a six just to get him to here. So he'll take the extra movement then and just uh, squeeze on this side of you there. There we go. So he's there. All right. Then uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to charge Xanthan into the same. Okay. Uh, so that one, we measured it up again. That's looking for a five to get there. All right. Xanthan with a five, hopefully. No, with a four. Oh, <gasps> Xanthan. No. Oh, no. CP? That means he's like wide open. CP, maybe? Ooh, I might have to CP reroll that. Maybe. Because uh, he needs... I need to protect that demolition charge. So yeah, I'll spend a CP. Oh, but then I can't do a decisive strike later on, which could be huge. Decisions, decisions. I think, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to take his movement there and then we're just going to pop down here uh, just outside of an inch of you there. Uh, still taking, yeah, there we go, outside of an inch. So it's taking the move and hopefully at least getting some obscurement. But he did charge, which is a shame, but he's not in combat. Then we'll charge this heavy rock cutter into uh, the Bulgren as well. Oh! oh! On the big box cars, wow. that's definitely gonna be in. So he's he's 100% in there. Give him the snips. Yep, Do the it. snips. All right. Guar, our oh. heavy rock drill charging into your veteran gunner. It's about to get heavy. Here we go. Overcharging yet again. Overcharging again. Don't burn out for the Emperor. Oh! oh! <laughs> He's totally He's... dead. Interestingly We're... about that, no points. No. Because it wasn't done by one of my specialists. It was my specialist. <laughs> yeah. So um, interesting actually rules interaction here uh, because now I should be, I still would get my charge, question mark? I'm not really sure. I don't know. I, I don't know if he's left out in the cold you haven't, now. You haven't rolled the distance, so you really wouldn't yeah. move anywhere. Yeah, well, so that, I mean, that's the thing is like, uh, do you now roll the charge and take the movement towards where he was, or do you just, you just get left out in the wind? I really believe it falls under the, like, the order of operation where I fire my overwatch, that gets resolved, and then you roll the charge because I killed myself and there's no longer a target so he just, to charge. He just is stuck. He just, he, he just watched me roast myself. Oh, Guar. You're out in the open, man. Oh, man. You're now out in the open, man. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Uh, well, in that case, so the only things I have left to do now is just uh, move these guys, because uh, I'll, I'll move him in to support this pocket over here, and then we'll move Yorl and Rouse accordingly. Now that, that that's really changed the shape of the turn. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to take those movements off camera, and we'll come back with the shooting phase here in round one. All right, we are in the shooting phase for round one. Just to go over the last bit of Gene Steeler cult movement, Yoro Kraus advanced up this way uh, as well. He technically rolled a six. He could have gone all the way out here, but I would have been massively exposed to the fire of the Astra Militarum at that point. I didn't want to lose him, so he's there. But our banner bearer did advance out this way, so now he's providing his buff to everyone here. And then... Uh, Rouse Kraus, he readied up uh, just because he does have line of sight over here to this guardsman and, of course, the combat specialism guy there. So that is it for movement phase. And like I said, we are in the shooting phase. We start off with readied models. Uh, Gene Stiller cults have two. And then most of the uh, Astra Militarum team is readied up. Yep. So uh, we're going to start off with those. So where would you like to start Rico. I will start with my plasma sniper. Plasma sniper. Who is going to put a shot into your banner bear? Shooting Ooh. the banner bear. So Ruby Very ran nice. out in the open. Okay. Okay. All right, so so uh, and that's a rapid fire twenty four, exactly. right? So uh, so twelve inches is your half half range, Absolutely. which I'm sure Absolutely. you're within. So oh, well you, yep. Within. So you get the rapid fire, and there's no minus there. And uh, would I be obscured at all from this terrain here? Um, Hopefully, maybe just a bit. Ooh. It's hard to tell. I'm is any part of the model? Yes. I'm willing yes. to give it to you. Yeah, so sure. then, yeah, so he's obscured. So All we right. do get a minus one to hit, thankfully, because he'll probably be dead. Yeah. Well, it's fours, now needing fives. And yep. I'm a sniper, so I'm rerolling one. Oh, yeah, and at the start of the shooting phase, uh, do you, you're issuing an order? Uh, I'm going to issue it to maybe a different a different guy. It, it, it was going to go well, you, to... Yeah, you issue the order at the start of the shooting phase, I believe. So oh, it's just like you do it before you 
do anything else. I think. Oh, I see. I, see. I could be wrong. I mean, see, what's what's the see. rule for issuing orders? Uh, once per battle, once per battle round, if your leader is on the battlefield and not shaken, they can issue an order to other members of the kill team at the start of the shooting phase. Yep. Oh, so yeah, so you do it now. before before anyone well, shoots. Then, before I do that, so I will, what is what is your order? I'll issue the take aim order of rerolling ones to hit onto this guardsman over here. Okay. So I'll put okay. A small Very good. Hand. Very good. Right so there. he's getting a reroll ones. Yep. All right, and then so we're going into our. Sniper exactly. specialist here. So needing five. Firing into our banner bearer. Overcharging but rerolling ones. Okay, and overcharging uh, because of that two damage for oh, the yeah. easy out of action. Oh, absolutely. Okay. All right, so hitting on fives, we said? Yep, fives. Okay. Oh, oh there we no, go. No, that's not what we needed. It's going to be twos to wound here. There that's, it is. yep, okay. So uh, it punches right through his armor, and uh, it's two damage, so injury roll. Yep. Oh, uh, it's two damage, oh. so second die. No. Oh, it's just wow. a flesh wound. Um, Huge. Would you I'm gonna like to... So that's it. That's your CP out oh, there, right. so you're done. You so two dice. No, you re-roll oh. re oh. the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. There we go. Oh, there it is. Double yep. double okay. okay, so he's out of action. And that will be a point because that is okay. your specialist. Exactly. So a point there for Rico. I'll hand that over oh, to you. you. That way, uh, That way it's a point for you. All right, uh, so he is fired. Now it's on to my readied model. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and fire uh, this little gentleman here, grenade ready and there. waiting. He's going to fire a frag grenade uh, all the way across. Um, ooh, it's tempting. Uh, yeah, that's right. We're going to fire a frag grenade right here, okay? Both of these models are unobscured. We are at long range. My primary target is going to be the one that has not fired. And then secondary target is going to be the uh, the sniper specialist. So we'll roll our number of shots first and then figure out how we're splitting it up. So D6 shots. Oh, oh just one. Okay. okay. Well, it's just going to the primary target then. Right. Hitting on a five. No. no. Okay. So that's him fired. All right. And then uh, your next uh, your next ready model, sir. We'll have... Uh... We'll do this guardsman is going to okay. take shots into Guar. That into Guar. Okay. Unobscured. Unobscured. And uh, you you ignore the penalty for long range because of exactly. Astroyan, but are you within the half range for your rapid fire? Let's see. Punches. I am. Looks like it. What? Just, what, just yeah. within. So uh, there you go. Two shots hitting on fours. There we go. One That's hit. one hit. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Hitting a four. Very nice. Wow. Does Guar survive? Guar, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. Pull that drill in close for some cover. Whoa! That's a wound. It is. Do you get a five up save though? No. No, not on a two. Injury can, roll. Can I do it again? Oh, no, he's wow. out of action. No. Guar, gone. Just Whoa. like that. Whoa. Just like that. Okay. Well, so then now it's my other ready model. We're going to go ahead into Rouse Kraus, noted. Uh, Noted specialist here, heavy <laughs> specialist. He's going to fire all the way across right into this guy. Now, I uh, check the line of sight. He's unobscured, but we are, of course, at long range. We're doing our long wave profile, so that's heavy four. These are going to be hitting on fives. Oh, So that's only one hit. That's all you need. It's strength three, so wounding on a fours, but on a six, it's rending. Oh. No. CP okay. Roll, nope, nope. I'm saving my CP for decisive Ooh. strike. Okay. You heard it here first, ladies and gents. That's <laughs> what we're doing. Decisive strike later on. Well... All right, uh, wow. so now it's actually just uh, your ready models then, so you can just uh, resolve it how you like, sir. Okay, I'm going to fire back with this guardsman here. Okay, into uh, Rouse Kraus. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, you are obscured, but I can yes, ignore the range. Yes, to, thanks to our little rock and uh, shrubbery thanks pals to the shrubbery. here. shrubbery. Yes. So, uh, it's still fives. Yep, so two, one shot hitting one on shot. a five. Here we go. No. Okay. okay, Rouse Kraus survives. Very fire. good, very good. Uh, next, we will fire onto the Flamer Specialist over here. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's this guy down through the window. It's a pretty great epic shot here. I'm digging it. In fact, yep. let, me, let me train him a little bit. Yeah, but we are obscured, thankfully. Yes, yes you are. So uh, two shots, hitting two on fives, fives. and re-rolling ones for your order. Absolutely. Nothing, oh, didn't nothing even come into play. big, okay. huge, right. huge. Okay. 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 So now, if uh, if I'm correct here, that's just this right left. here. We're gonna see if this guy can survive okay. the incoming fire and just take a cheeky kill on the leader here. That we'll would be see. huge. That would be amazing. All right. Let's so who see. would you like to fire first? Speaking of the leader, let's see if Senor Fancy Hat can can murk your shot. Okay. Man, so, so that's a uh, that's an auto pistol or a uh, excuse bolt me pistol. a bolt pistol. One shot. So. Oof. Here we go. So obscured. Oh, but it hits Definitely on a five. Hit. Strength four. Strength four, toughness three. Three, three wound. That's a wound. Oh, that's a wound. 
but we do have a five up save. You can do it. For the four armed emperor. Oh, I saw no. the six. I saw it. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, injury roll, but a minus one for this injury roll. Oh, oh but no. he's out of action anyway. It wow. doesn't matter. He blew him doesn't away with a pistol. Wow. Harsh. Oh, All right, and no. then you have your uh, you have okay. your uh, gun right here. This is crazy. Okay. The Holy Laz gun. Uh, the Holy Flashlight, best weapon in the game. I'm gonna, apparently it is. I'm gonna put two, uh, my one shot into uh, Rouse over here. Okay, so. okay, so that's gonna be long range, but you ignore that and definitely obscured. So just one shot hitting on a five. Just to humor me, let me make sure I'm not just cheating you. Nope, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're just fine. Wanna double, you're fine. Double internet check. Yep. So one shot hitting on a five. Well, that's a that's five, a five over there. Uh, five. You know, we, uh, by the way, guys, we have this handy dice rolling tray. <laughs> uh, you know, it's funny because all the time on online battle reports, people are like, can't you guys just roll in a tray? It's much easier to it's, do. Uh, so we got the tray, we really try to do it, and then everybody, including myself, rolls outside of the tray. The dice just like to jump out. It's all right. really weird. Um, so wounding on a four. On a four, yeah. Yeah. Nope. No wound, Ooh, okay. okay. Wow. Thank goodness. No, that's, All that's... right, now we're gonna see if uh, if the Gene Stealer cults can crack back. I have to see, does this guy have a target within 12? Oh yeah. So he's gonna fire, so our shotgun here is gonna fire over into your sniper specialist. It's gonna be two shots, these are gonna be on sixes. We advanced, it's long range, you're obscured because of the height difference. So two shots hitting on sixes into your sniper specialist. Hey! Hey, that's a hit. Nice. Strength three to toughness three, wounding on a four. That's a wound, oh, baby. That's sweet, sweet 12 gauge. Flak armor save. Five up. He no. doesn't make it. Can you do it? Are the Does the Cult of the Fang Shadow draw their first blood? Oh, if they do, no! <laughs> Both my plasma specialists gone. Sniper gone. But that's sniped. not a point because that was not a specialist of mine, unfortunately. So then uh, we'll do, this is the one we've been waiting for, the Flamer do into... It. Your guardsman here, D6 auto hits. It's two auto hits, that's strength four. So threes to wound, we get one Ooh. wound. That's a flak armor save at five up. No. no, he doesn't make it. It's an injury roll on yes. a four minus one because of intervening oh, terrain, no. it's a flesh wound. Wow. So he is flesh wounded. So that's okay. He's singed, he's burned a little bit. It's not bad. Just a little bit. That's not bad. Uh, and then with that, because of taking out my cool shotgun play here, I'm very upset about that. Sorry. Very, I'm fuming over bit, here. A little bit sorry, not, yep. not really though. Yep, the Gene Stealer cults can't believe it. We're gonna go into the fight phase right after this. So it is the fight phase here in round one. We have an excellent combat right here. So we've got our demolition charge guy was charged by the uh, dastardly Yeti here, uh, <laughs> the Bulgren. And then we countercharged in with the anvil and with our heavy rock cutter. So what we're going to do, uh, Gene Steeler cults are going to spend two CP for decisive strike. Okay. So we are going to swing. It's really, it's really kind of tough here to figure out who to do. I'm going to do my combat specialist first. We're going to try to give the glory to the aberrant. All right. All right. Now this is uh, three attacks. Normally he hits on fours, or, or perhaps threes. Again, this is what I mean about needing the book out for myself here. So aberrant, uh, three up. So he's gonna be hitting on a four up. Okay, so three attacks, hitting on a four up against your <sighs> Bulgren. You can do it. Unfortunately, I don't get any reroll ones because the banner is dead. But here we go, three attacks on four ups. Oh no. This is why I was playing Popper Princes all those times because if I would have power pick, that would be a hit and I'd get to re-roll those. That makes sense. Now. Yep, but yeah. uh, that's it. So two CP down the drain. This is always what happens with him. If you notice a little salt in my voice, it's because this is always what happens. All right, uh, so with that, then your your Bulgren gets to fight back. Okay, so he gets his combat and he did make a charge this turn. Mm -hmm. He gets the Avalanche of Muscle special rule, which means I add one to my attacks. Because yes. in his combat, he adds another one to his attacks. Yep. So he starts with three basic because he's just a Bulgren. Mm -hmm. And then plus so one then in plus combat. So then plus two total, right? So exactly. five attacks. So let me divvy these up. Um, I'm going to put two. This is pretty scary. Yeah, I'll put two into your Aberrant. Two into the Aberrant. Okay, so we'll put a little, we'll put a little two by him. There we go. Two, two into the rock cutter. Two into the rock cutter. And one into the demolition. And one into the demo. Okay. So we'll start in uh, in descending order. So we'll go okay. uh, aberrant first. Aberrant first. Okay. Aberrant two first. attacks. Two attacks. Hitting on threes. Hitting on threes. For one hit. One hit. Right. Okay. Toughness four for the aberrant. I am strength five. 
Right. And does the maul add any uh, strength? Maul, that's plus two strength. Add so. plus two, so six, so uh, so threes. So I'm sorry, I'm strength five. Yeah, I'm strength, oh, strength five, five so, so seven, seven yeah. so threes. Threes. One. Does add AP? Minus one. Minus one. So a six up save. Okay. No. Damage? Two damage. Two damage, which uh, thanks to the aberrant's bestial vigor is reduced oh, to one. Okay. So he's got one wound because nice. he's a two wound model. Very cool. Whew. Good job, Anvil. All right, so then two attacks onto Rock Cutter. Yep. This is where you're going to kill him. <laughs> you don't know that. I do know that. Oh, okay. Only one hit. Only one. But it's twos to wound now because he's toughness three. Very true. Hey, oh, look I at that. that. That was big. And for the demolition charge guy? Needing a three. Oh, no. Wow. Okay, see? Yeah, huge, you know. huge. All right, uh, just for cheek, we're going to send our demolition charge guy here. One attack hitting on a three. No. no. Okay, and then now, uh, or he might have been, he might be two attacks. I'm just going to roll a second attack. Nope. Okay, good. So that's one thing anyway. No. Okay, now, heavy rock cutter. My God. I you need this it. to go off. Man, okay. Man, man of the hour. You can do it. <sighs> two attacks. These are going to be hitting on fours because the rock cutter is also a minus one to hit. We get one hit. Okay, the strength is times two, so he's strength eight. So threes to wound. Oh, no, no wound. Ouch. Huge. That's really bad. All right, uh, so with that, we're actually done with Turtle. the fight phase. Yeah. So we go to morale. Now, the Cult of the Fang Shadow, we have no flesh wounds on the board. Everything got out of action. So that's three, one, two, and then our third guy over here. Three out of our original 12, so we don't have to test for breakage just yet. And of course, no, no uh, flesh wounds, so no nerve checks. Now the Astra Militarum have two out of action and one on a flesh wound, so that's three out of their original 11. I believe it's right? 10. Or 10. Wars. Or maybe I have 11 and you have... Well, you were, you were one less than me, whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah, so it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Yeah, so you have 10 and I had 11. That's what it was. There we go. So three out of your 10, so no break check, but you do need to take a nerve check here. Okay. So uh, he's uh, a minus or a plus two because you're out of action, guys, and he has no friendly models within right. an inch. He's leadership six, but six. luckily the Voxcaster is still intact, so I can yep. reroll this if I fail. Okay, and the Voxcaster is just anywhere on the board, or is anywhere it on the uh, board. okay? Cool. As long as he's not shaken anywhere on the board. Cool. So basically, your leadership six, you've got a plus two to the roll, so on a five up, you'll be shaken. Oh, no. good. Okay, okay, so he's fine. All right, and with that, then we go into round two. So we're both up to uh, we're both up to two CP now for that, and we'll see who has initiative. An eight and an eight. eight. Hey, okay. okay, so the, we need to re-roll. Gene Steelers with a seven and a, and a seven. seven. The exact oh same. my oh, gosh! Here we go. Three for three. Seven hey, and a four. Okay, Gene Steeler Colts take the initiative, and with that. We'll go into round two. We were at the end of the movement phase for round one. Uh, we just went ahead and did them both because it wasn't super crazy. For the Gene Steeler Cults, we readied up here. Our shotgun wielding neophyte right here readied up, as did our grenade launcher and Rouse Kraus. All readied up. There he is. A flamer neophyte over here. We moved just to get fully out of line of sight from, uh, from your kill team. Uh, and to get a little bit further away from your combat specialist who was over here. Mm -hmm. uh, I just didn't want to receive an unlucky charge there. And then he's still with that uh, with that twisted helix plus two to advance and flamers being an assault weapon. He's really dangerous to your team if you don't address him soon. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then basically all these guys, these three stayed in combat. Yordle Kraus and of course uh, Guar, or I'm sorry, Xanthan, mm -hmm. all... Uh, all moved in there uh, to charge. So they charged in. There was no Overwatch because you were already in combat. And that was it for the Gene Stealer Cults. Mm. Uh, it, oddly enough, uh, I almost feel like we're thin on the ground because so much is concentrated right here. Yeah, it's right all here. kind of pooled over on that side of the board. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, so then what happened for the Astra Militarum? A lot of readying and just simple movements. I mainly, I, so I readied this guy because I didn't yep. really want to keep chasing your flame around. Yes. Because every time I do, I keep getting wounded. Okay. So just ready to take a shot onto your grenade launcher. Right. There. Just do a little long range firefighting over exactly. here. Sure. Uh, this guardsman made his long trek across the catwalk and is now right. over here. Okay. And then I moved this guardsman from this side up to the third Moving level. Moving up. There. Yep. I advanced my combat specialist. Yeah, I notice he's. Uh, yeah, he's kind of like hanging out down yeah. here, huh? I, I was going to charge the flamer, but once you moved him, I decided just to kind of uh, 
keep you honest on this side of the board. Sure. It has something there. Yep. And the back, I readied up this guardsman. I uh, read it up my my uh, my leader there, just in case something uh, got crazy. Yep. And then uh, and then this little cheeky guy, huh? Just moved out there. Just, to, yeah. just uh, he's on a, his own little scouting mission. See okay. What's going on. Okay. Well, there we go. Uh, so that is the end of the movement phase. That's it. That's it. So uh, we'll move swiftly right on into the shooting phase, which is going to be an interesting one. All right. So we'll start off with readied models with players with initiative. So that's going to be me over here. And uh, what we're going to do actually is we're going to start off with our Grenade launcher guy. Mm. Uh, I actually just need to, let's just check really quick. You're unobscured, sir. Oh, okay. So from the grenade launcher all the way across here, I was worried if this rock was gonna be obscuring, but actually you're it's not. just out of the so way. So just out of the way. So uh, he's gonna fire a frag grenade oh, no. all the way across here to this guy. So that's gonna be D6 shots. That's four shots this time. We like that. Oh, okay. Uh, normally our ballistic skill is four plus, mm -hmm. but uh, you are at long range, so five plus, but no obscurement. So just a five ups here. Hey, okay. Right. That's two hits. We like that. Uh, these are going to be fours to wounds. Uh, that's one wound. Uh, Flak jacket save. Five up. Oh, hey, he it makes is. it in style. With okay. Big six. So that's him shot. Uh, so then who else? Uh, then we go over here to Astra Militarum. That's going to be uh, this guy here or or one of your two down here. I don't think your leader has any valid targets, to be fair. But, no, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and return the hate you just uh, laid okay. on me. Okay, firing here, yep. back over to this guy. Exactly. So that's going to be a minus one for obscurement, which is nice because of our barrels yep. there. And that's out of 12, then, so just and, one shot. Uh, and a flesh wound, so another oh, minus one. Exactly, so I need yeah. a six to hit now. So six is to hit and with a single shot. Um, actually, I'm gonna issue an order. Oh yeah, and issue yeah. an order for the start of the shooting yep, phase. Yep, just uh, take aim. Take aim, so reroll ones. Yeah. Cool, so sixes, rerolling ones. Up, 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 up. That's a four over yeah, there, it, it so uh, it Don't fails. Worry about it. So there we go. Uh, so then into the next ready model for the Gene Sealer Cults, we're gonna fire our long wave profile for this guy all the way across into him. Now Ooh, you are okay. obscured and at long range. Right. So these are gonna be hitting on sixes, four shots hitting on sixes. That's oh, two hits. Oh no. <laughs> these are gonna be wounding on fours, rending on sixes. Oh my God. Oh, it's a rend. There it's it saved. is. So that's AP minus four, sir. So that is no wow. save. So that is an injury roll. All right. Uh, and this is just gonna be a straight up because while you are obscured, the thing obscuring you is this. And simple, so, uh, simple so you're not, yeah. not within an inch of obscuring terrain. So just a straight four up. Oh, He's out of action. You have juice. Boom. Him. That is a point for me he because he is a heavy specialist there. So, so uh, Gene Sealer Cults on the board now with a point. All right. And then we'll go over into your next ready model right so over here, sir. I will uh, retort with my own uh, LAS okay. gun specialist. Firing off into Rouse Krause. Exactly. So okay. he, is, he is a LAS gun specialist. Okay. Just a, just a farmer. So one so hit. One, uh, hit uh, one shot uh, obscured. Hit, yep, hitting on five. Yep. Oh, yes, he gets hey, the hit. Okay. He gets the hit. Okay. Four now. Fours to wounds. There oh, he gets is. the wound, but that's fine because my own flak jacket save will oh, come through right there, baby. Good call. That's right. That's right. All right, we've got one readied model left to do. That is our uh, shotgun wielding neophyte here. He's going to fire up into uh, this guy here. Um, so it's going to be assault two. These are going to be, again, sixes, long range and obscured. No. No. Okay. okay. And that's it for readied models on the Gene Stealer cult side. Uh, and that's it for readied models on your side. Yep. Uh, so then we drop down to non-readied models, starting with uh, initiative. So I have, th I have two pistols right here to do. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do them together sure, yeah. because nothing can fire into this and you don't have a pistol here, right? No. Yeah. So, so they can't get interrupted. So that's just two, two auto pistols here. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, perhaps I should have fallen him back, but too late now. Cause then maybe eventually something. Okay. So, uh, not, and that's it for me now for non readied models. Yep. So we go to you for non-ready models, and uh, then that's going to be this guy right here. Him and the leader really but, have no other viable targets. Yeah, I don't so. think you have any viable that's targets. Really so I it. think yeah. that's actually going to be it for the shooting phase. So we're going to go into the fight phase coming up next. Yeah, so uh, it's the start of the fight phase. Yep. Uh, Rico is spending two CP for decisive strike. Yes. I thought about uh, spending, so you'll go down to zero. Zero. Indeed, indeed. Null. Z, as it were. Uh, I thought about spending one CP. Mm -hmm. Or, sorry, two CP to contest, but instead I'm going to spend one CP for mesmerizing gaze. Ooh, mesmerizing. So, uh, boom, picking him as my enemy model. And then on a four up, I'll subtract one from your number of please attacks. Don't, please don't do that. 
Oh, okay. No! Okay, so that's fine. One CP down the drain. Who cares? Not me. <laughs> Whatever, man. Doesn't matter, bro. Doesn't matter. I don't care. Whatever. All right, uh, so then, so you'll be fighting first. Now he's got uh, three attack space. Yeah, three base. Plus one for being in um, combat. Exactly. All right, so. and then how do you want to uh, do it? Uh, so we'll put two in his anthem. Two in his anthem. Oh, boy. Two he's probably two, dead. And then two into the anvil. See, you said that two last time. Two into the anvil. The he's probably also dead now, but we'll see. I don't believe you. We'll see. Okay. So we'll do, uh, we'll do two into the anvil first. All right, we'll do the two into the anvil. So needing uh, threes to hit. Threes to hit. Oh, two hits. That's two hits. Okay. Strike seven. It's gonna be threes to wound. Only one wound. Just one wound. Minus one. Minus one. Come on, Anvil. Six up save. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, there it Anvil. is. Anvil. Glorious. All right, indeed. and then two into Xanthan. All right, Xanthan. Let's see if you can take it. Two, threes. <sighs> okay, oh. we've already dropped one. We like that. Okay. But it's twos to wound. I need you to roll a one here. Uh, we'll see. Probably. Well, the opposite. Oh, okay. No. Cool. Okay. Minus one. <sighs> Xanthan, can you follow up with a beastly six up save? Oh no. no. Damage is two. Right. So it takes an injury roll. Two up. Yep. Two dice for the injury. There He's he out goes. of action. Well, I was really excited for him as a specialist, yeah. but that's actually two points, points. there for you because your specialist took out specialist. one of my specialists. I'm I'm a little sad about that. Uh, because I actually think this one guy is going to win you the game here because I just don't think I'm going to be able to beast him down, unfortunately. I think you can with, with the right rolls. I've just We'll find yeah. out. We'll find out. So it's going to be all it's going to be all me from here on out. Yep. So two attacks. We're going to we have to start off with our charging model here. Two attacks from Yorl Kraus. He is a legend. I will say that. Indeed. Hitting on fours. Oh. Two hits. Okay. Uh, but uh, strength 3, T5. T5. So fives to wound. Hey, that is a wound. Okay. That's AP minus three. Uh, uh, I have a two up base with a slap shield, and so I have a five up. Which no, I, which I feel miserable. That's a D three damage, sir. Oh That's a two no! Damage. Uh, he has. Oh boy, he has three wounds. He's down to one wound. So he's got. He's taken two wounds. Oh jeez. All right. Okay. Hey, good job, Yoel Kraus. You are a legend, in earning, fact. Earning his name. So then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we're actually gonna give it to the rock cutter next. <sighs> Bisect him. Do it. Cut him in half. Two attacks. Hitting on fours. Oh yes, it's two meant hits. to be. It's okay. meant to be. Wounding on threes. Oh. That's two wounds. This is, uh, let me just double check <laughs> that I don't get this wrong here. These are AP with the cutter, AP minus four. Does the six do anything? Uh, no. Okay. No. So AP minus four, Ooh. sir. So I have a six up save, two six ups. No. That's it. And then uh, damage is two. Oh boy. <sighs> Do we get an out of action? We do yes. with a four. That's an out of action, uh, but wow. that again is no points for me because that's the rock cutter is not a specialist, mm. unfortunately. Perhaps I should have given it to the hammer, uh, but we'll go ahead and consolidate there. And that, or sorry, the anvil. Maybe we'll call him the hammer now, that even works. though it doesn't quite make sense. Uh, ooh, there we go. Okay, so that is actually the end of the fight phase. So then we'll go to morale. Mm -hmm. So now, Gene Sealer Cults have lost four, yep. uh, so still no break check, and I have no flesh wounds because that's a normal wound there, so no nerve checks. So for the Astra Militarum, you've got one, two, three, and four out of action of your original, and then five yep. here yep. of your ten, so that's yep. not more than half, so you don't have to break, okay. but you do have to take a nerve check here. Again, now you've got a plus four, four to the roll, so on a three up, you'll be shaken. But yeah. you do get to re-roll for your Vox caster. Which I just here. realized it's not in the open. Oh, goody. Goody for me. <sighs> hey! So he's go. fine. Okay. He's fine. Cool. Okay, morale will matter one day. So with that, <laughs> we are ready. Current standings uh, with, it's the, G, uh, three points. it's three points for the Astra Militarum, one point for the Gene Stealer Cult. We'll go into initiative phase. A Five. Ooh, a Ooh, six. Okay. okay, Gene Stealers right. have the initiative. We'll take our movements and we'll come right back. All right, so we're partway through the Gene Stealer cult movement phase. Just needed to go over a couple things and before we do our charges. To start off with, our flamer, he's been lurking. He's he's like actually one of the most Gene Stealer culty type of guys. He's just been lurking around. He's really cool. Like the whole know, map is really cool, yeah. Advanced again. He's got it, he's got himself obscured here, but yep. uh, some nice line of sight. 
There, we're not obscured, I think, to this guy, but you are on a flesh wound, which that helps. He does. Then our other shotgun neophyte advanced right over here. Again, uh, difficult terrain for this first floor, so we just were able to come around here, gaining obscurement, and uh, he's going to be shooting probably up here. Our uh, grenade launcher readied up again. Rouse Kraus, our heavy specialist, now uh, feeling like he's pretty safe to do so. He moved out. Now, uh, depending on how we do with the charges here is going to determine uh, what I do with these guys. So we're going to do our charges here first. So to start off with, we're going to charge our heavy rock cutter. Oh yeah, also, just to note, um, we realized yeah. this the moment, literally the moment we stopped recording. Exactly. The, yeah. uh, the this Bulgrin, Bulgrin right that was right here was not the combat specialist. This was the combat specialist. So basically he would have gotten no points for killing Xanthan there. Precisely. He would have been minus one attack through all that, but he only ever did one wound there and then killed Xanthan. So we're, we're happy just to leave it as it is. Yeah. And we brought Rico back down from three points to one. So it's a tie game currently. Exactly. I mean, and, if it means uh, anything, I would have split the attacks the same way anyway, even if I had three. So yeah. nothing really would Yeah, there. so it's all fine there. Uh, so we're going to start off with the heavy rock cutter uh, charging into your Vox caster and, uh, and your combat specialist. Okay. All right, so, Overwatch. Uh, or, uh, or you could retreat. Oh, actually, that might be a better idea. I think I will retreat. Actually. Take a three-inch retreat. I will. Okay. So and, uh, and, uh, yeah, so you can basically, you can go that way. You could go this way, go right into my flamer guy if you want. Ooh. You could. It'd be really fun. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Yeah, maybe? it'd be really fun if you just moved right into this corridor. <laughs> and, uh, and and then just got roasted. I think it would be great. I I, don't know. I agree, but since I'm not playing Genes of the Cult, I'm not going to do that. Okay, 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 that's fine. So he's fallen back. So now he can't fire in the upcoming shooting phase. We'll still go ahead and uh, roll our charge. Actually, uh, let's just do a little quick measure here. So to get to your combat guy, that's just outside of four. So well, actually, let's see. So to get up to the difficult terrain three, would be three. So three, four. So we'll call it a five, basically, to get here. And then to get to your guy there. It'd be about an eight. But yeah, basically an eight. So we're looking for an eight to get into your Vox caster and a five to get into your combat specialist here. All right. Whoop. That's a seven. So unfortunately, you won't be going the there. Uh, you know what? Yeah. So, so it was three to get up here. So that would give him four inches of remaining movement. Uh, so then just two inches to get through the difficult terrain. So, uh, yeah, so he's just gonna go there then. All right. So, blah, like that. Then we'll go ahead and charge the anvil into the same. That's a seven. Uh, we'll have to, so a seven there, we'll have to. I'll give you that. All right. Yeah. Get him in there. So he's there, blah, ready to, ready to fight. We'll see how he does. And with that, actually, then, uh, now, I'm going to just probably advance both of these guys. So first off, we'll do our demolition charge guy with a one. Turning into two. God, he's just... So that's three. So he gets a nine-inch move, and then Yorl Kraus will also advance oh, with a five, which okay. becomes a seven, so a 13-inch. So I'm going to move them off camera. We're going to do our... Uh, we're going to do our Astra Militara movement phase, and then uh, we'll come right back. All right, so it is the end of the Astra Militarum movement phase. Rico, tell us what you've done. Well, I've decided to consolidate and ready up for the onslaught. I've started with uh, readying up um, this gentleman here on the, okay. on the third floor, readying up this gentleman on the second floor, uh, declaring a charge with my, uh, with my leader's bodyguard. Yep, and then, and then your leader readied up. To take a shot and of at course he fell crabs, back. Right? So uh, you're charging this guy into here. Exactly. So... He's only gotten to loose the flamer one round. Now, last game wasn't very good for guys charging flamers. Yeah. So I'm a little, I have a little bit of PTSD. We'll see if that kicks in again. D6 auto hits? Okay. Okay. I, I'm okay. not liking this so far. Okay. And that's going to be uh, threes to wound because it's strength four. Ah, oh, jeez. That's two wounds, sir. That's two five-up saves. For the Emperor. Flak jackets? Oh, no. No. Yeah, that's a five. Hell that's yeah. damage one. Oh, boy. Injury roll. Please don't. Oh, he's, oh, he's out of action. <laughs> that's it. He's just blasted. But that's no points again because that's not a specialist. Yeah, great, that great code is really flammable. All right. This is really interesting. Oh, geez. This is really interesting here uh, because we've got, uh, we've got a really good back and forth between shooting and combat. So that is it for movement phase then. Yep. 
We're all done. So we're going to go right into the shooting phase, starting off with readied models, mm -hmm. which is, of course, starting with the player with initiative. We're going to fire our... Good aim, Andrew. Yeah, I'm trying to think of doing frag or crack because frag uh, hasn't really done much for me. It hasn't, but cra crack but, is But risky. crack could be really hilarious if I just paste you. I'm going to do frag. <laughs> I'm going to do frag because nice math, it, math is my friend. Rel reliable yep. frag. All right, so D6 shots all the way across here. Again, a minus one to hit for being at long range, but because we both readied up, we haven't moved, so obviously still not obscured. Exactly. So D6 shots. Six oh, shots. Wow. There okay. we go. Oh, all right, and these are going to be hitting... On fives, of course. Hey. Okay, that's three right. hits. That is above average. These Pretty are gonna be fours to wound. That's only one wound. I guess that's okay. Oh, A flak jacket save, sir. All you need. Oh. No. And now this is going to be an injury roll. Flesh wound, please. Oh, that's out of action. No. Okay. Again, pasted. no points. No points there for us uh, because not a specialist. All right, uh, so then we drop down to non, or we drop uh, down to you with yep. your two ready models. You've got the guy here, you got the guy here. Who'd you like to fire first? Uh, I'm gonna take, wow, okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a shot actually at, um, I'll, I'll take a shot at to the Grenadier since he's caused a lot of okay, trouble. Okay, so, uh, so shooting our LAS gun here yeah. into the Grenadier all the way across here. Look at that epic so shot cool. from here. Just, you can almost imagine uh, if you ever saw, um, uh, what is it? Um, Saving Private Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, where right it's in the, the town. sniper in the in the tower, <laughs> and he's whispering prayers he's to, to the, the emperor. emperor as he's like, choo, choo, choo. <laughs> "Emperor, guide my hand." Yes. All right. So, our, and we're outside of rapid fire, yes. right? Uh, but uh, Vestroy and you ignore the penalty. Exactly. And uh, let's see. Oh, you are uh, definitely obscured. definitely obscured yeah. from this angle. So, so it's uh, just a five shot. Oh, uh, an order. I, we, we almost ooh, forgot. That's an true. Order. I will issue an order to reroll ones. Reroll ones there. Okay. So uh, Emperor guide my hand. Here we go. So fives rerolling ones. No, no, the one thing I didn't want. Okay. So he shot, and then now you've got an interesting choice here. Yes. You could send the bolt pistol over to my leader, Yorl Kraus, oh, or you could send no. the bolt pistol here to the flamer, who will surely roast you next if you don't. It's a tough choice. Either one, uh, either one is obscured, but we're at long range here with Yorl Kraus. So you have better odds of killing this guy. I will, but oh, I will it's take a potential uh, leader kill. It is. It really is. Um, I want to face Yorl Kraus in close combat. So okay, so we're do. firing into the flamer. Absolutely. Okay, so. so that's going to be one shot. That's going to be hitting on a five though because of obscurement. Yes. <laughs> Oh, no. no, he doesn't hit. Misses. Oh, that's really bad news for him. So that's it for readied models. We drop down to non-readied models. And actually, by my count, uh, that's you fired. Because, that's because that's your everything. Vox caster yep. fell back. That's everything. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to start off with our flamer. Our primary target is, of course, your leader. And I believe we're within two inches there. Yes. So, oh, I don't know if he could see a, across this boulder because the boulder is quite high. No, so, no. No, uh, so no. So then just, it's all into your leader. Yep. That's almost worse for you. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. D6 auto hits. Okay. Four auto that's, hits. That's, that's bad. Okay. It's very bad. You do have CP though to reroll saves if need be. I do. So. I do. All right. Threes to wound. Okay, that's oh, three wounds. No. That's three five up saves from your leader. You gotta face your old Kraus, man. You gotta make these pass. It has to happen. You gotta pass them. Oh, oh no. no! It's just one injury roll, though. It will it's happen. It's just a flesh wound. It's yes. just a flesh wound. It okay. will happen. Okay. Glorious. We're okay. Indeed. We're okay, okay with that. That's okay. fine. I'm down for that. So then, uh, Euro Kraus advanced, and all he has is a pistol and a grenade, so he can't do anything. He advanced, so nothing there. Uh, so then it's just, uh, it's just Rouse Krause. Which has no targets. Well, actually, we were talking about it, right? He can oh, see him, so Rouse Krause can see up. So he'll fire totally the forgot. long wave profile again. Blasted. That's going to be at long range, I believe. It's a uh, 24-inch range, so 12 inches. We might be within 12. Are we within 12? Yes, you are. Oh, so just obscured then. Uh, and then, yeah, we're just going to keep doing the long wave profile. Keep so uh, these are just going to be hitting on fives. Hey, That's two right. hits. Nice. These are going to be wounding on fours, sixes with rend. That's a wound right there. No AP. Flak jacket saved. Five up. For no. the emperor, it was not enough. An injury roll. That's going to be just a flesh wound because of the intervening terrain. Because right. the height advantage there is what uh, 
what gives him there. So he's flesh wounded. This is getting this a little is, dicey for you now because you actually might break, sir. Maybe. Okay. Whew. Got a spicy little thing. We're going... Uh, oh, yeah, we do have this guy. He could fire. I don't think he's got any valid targets now since this guy is yeah. dead. The, I don't think yeah. he can see here no, he cannot. because of the rock. And oh, oh, boy. and then we are in combat there. So nothing doing uh, there. We'll just uh, fix our discrepancy. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, so with that, then, we're going to go into the fight phase coming up next. So it is the fight phase. Rico has spent two CP for decisive strike. We were talking about it off camera and I could contest this, but I'm kind of thinking that at this point with the board state, I'm not trying to win on points anymore. I'm just trying to get you to break. Yeah, which I think it, you will. Because if I can get you to break, I'll take the game. Yeah. So, I, so yeah. I almost don't care about points now. Almost, yeah. So I'm just going to let you do it. So, okay, uh, cool. so two CP for decisive strike. All right. Now that is your combat specialist. Yes. But you did not charge. Exactly. So you've got four attacks. So are you doing uh, maybe two and two, perhaps? Uh, I I would like to get the points on the off chance I don't break. So I'm going to put three into the anvil and one into the rock Three cutter. into the anvil yeah. and one into the rock cutter. Interesting. Okay. And so, then uh, who do you want to do first? Uh, we'll do, we'll do rock cutter first. Rock cutter first. Okay. So that's our one attack. Three up. No. No. Okay. okay. Right. So rock cutter guaranteed to live. Anvil. Right. Three attacks. Okay. Two hits. Two hits. Two hits. That's a little scary. Three's Strikes. to wound. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> And just like that, the wow. odds have come around. The anvil proves his namesake. He is the anvil upon which the Gene Steeler Colts foes crash upon. And he himself, we're going to spend two CP for frenzied hammering. Oh no. So I'm going to get D3 extra attacks, but I subtract an additional one. So I'll only be hitting on fives, but I get three attacks base for being a combat and I get an extra D3 for Whoa, three more. The big so three. we get six attacks here, but we're hitting on fives into your combat specialists. Whoa. Oh, the anvil, baby. Oh. Four hits. The anvil cometh. Okay, these are strength 12 because of the plus one strength from Twisted Helix and then the times two strength from the hammer. Oh. So we're wounding on twos. That's all wounds. That's four okay. wounds. And then the AP. Power hammer. AP, AP is minus three on these, so you're looking at a five up, what is it, a slab shield? Yeah, so four, five, five up ups. slab shield save. Four five ups. Oh, oh you make okay. two of them. You All make right. two of them. The damage on the power hammer, wherever it is, that's three damage. Oh, no. So you're out of action, sir. That's it. Or, well, uh, you're an injury test, sir. Let's see. That's oh, it. Oh, he's down. We're That's out it. of action. And there we go. So that is you. the anvil. Yep, two points. There he goes. Blap. So what we'll do then is we'll take our three-inch uh, consolidate. Oh, my God. I just keep <laughs> bumping this thing. It's We're going to so take tall. our three-inch consolidate here. We're not going to get the full three inches because, again, difficult terrain. But we'll get off of that difficult terrain there. And then uh, our rock cutter, again, same thing. He's going to take three-inch consolidate just to get off the difficult terrain there. And that, uh, so he, just to explain that, he gets his three inch consolidate or pile in, but then doesn't get the consolidate. And then that was a three inch consolidate from this guy. So maybe that's a little bit confusing, but uh, there it is. <laughs> so that's it for the fight phase. We're all set. With that, we go into the morale phase. Gene Steeler cults, oddly enough. So we've got four, four out of action and no flesh wounds. So uh, no break check and no nerve checks. But the Astra Militarum are Different in a dangerous yeah. spot. Are in a dangerous Real spot. Bad. So everybody is either out of action or flesh wounded, except for your box caster. So you do have to take a break check at this point. You're not auto broken. Okay. But you do have to take a break check. Your highest leadership is, of course, seven. Your leader with a seven. So rolling two d six and hoping to get seven or lower. There you go. Does the game end here? Oh, oh. wow. Okay, so you're not broken, All right. but you do need to go ahead and take nerve checks now. For you'll take a nerve check here, you'll take a nerve check here. So. Now you've got a, a three, four, five, six. You've got uh, no, yeah, five, seven. six, seven. You have seven, seven out of action. Oh boy! Your leadership. I, I would maybe suggest taking your leader here first. Yeah. Because your leader will get a a plus or a minus one from having a friendly model within two. 
So that will be, uh, so you have a plus seven, but a minus one, so plus six. Right. And your leadership is seven. So well, you're on unmodified ones no matter how right. you slice it. Rerolling. But you get re-rolls. Yeah, exactly. So, so we, let's see if I can do it, everybody. Uh, oh, uh, but you get a re-roll. Show me that natural one. No! no! The leader is shaken. Oh, boy. And then what about your gentleman up here? He's leadership six. Natural one again, but you get to re-roll for that box caster. No. no. Okay. Five, so I don't need them. All right. So that is it. So we've got the leader shake in there. Interesting. Uh, and then Gene Stiller Colts doing really good. The foolish PDF should not have uh, encroached upon the Gene Stealers home turf, obviously. Yeah. Current point standings is one point for the Astra Militarum to actually three points yeah. for the Gene Steeler Colts. And Gene Steeler Colts are in a commanding position. Should have brought a Bane Blade. So uh, I'll go up to three CP going into the next round. You'll go to one only because of your leader being shaken. This is round four. Yeah. So this is the last round of the game, potentially. Initiative phase, I had to roll a double one. I roll a six. Two. So you do get... Initiative. You do get initiative. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do our movements. We'll come right back. So there you have it, man. Oh, a uh, Gene Steeler Colt victory. Uh, What'd you think? I think it was played very thematically. I think it was played uh, very tactically. A lot, a lot of good positioning, not so yes. much on my part, but... Um, Those catwalks, they got the you. The catwalks got me. Catwalks got you. Um, also, I feel like the pivotal moment was if I had just repositioned my combat specialist to actually have my combat specialist where he should Where you been, thought he was, yeah. Then I think it would have been completely different. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, fault. that was actually that a big... Yeah, all things being equal, had the one we killed first actually was the combat specialist. Yeah. You would have been at three points mm -hmm. there, and then I would have only just tied from taking out your actual combat specialist exactly. and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's it's very interesting as far as the points went. Um, I think the mission was really fun. I thought it was yeah. cool of being like, I have to really protect my specialists, but at the same time, I have to use them if I want to get points. Exactly. And then we both had high model count teams yeah. with, with relatively low leadership, could have broken at any mm -hmm. point. So that was cool. Um, I have to give a special shout out here. One to Yorl Kraus, who <laughs> walked right up to a Bulgren and was just like, care. Bauer picked him Ooh. in the face. Didn't even use the pick, he just hit him with the side of it. Yeah, he, he just, boom, and then there was like, boom, there's two wounds, just from, a, from your little neophyte leader. Savage. I love beast. it. And then I have to give a big shout out to the Anvil, uh, living up to his name, Weathered he just yep. he just he ate so many attacks and Took was a lot just of hammer like, blows. boom, good. And then yeah, just powered back oh. with the with good, the good frenzied hammer. That was oh, yeah, that was really charges. cool. The, like the twisted helix came in. Every, twisted every helix turn. was big. It's definitely really like a, big. Like a sleeper cult. It's really yeah. Big. I actually think uh, as far again because movement is one of the most powerful things in the game. Yes, uh, having that plus two inches to your advance mm -hmm. rolls is. Huge, and if you do stock up on shotguns, oh, assault yeah. weapons, oh, yeah. uh, flamers, flamers awesome. assault weapons, yeah. um, that's really big. And oh, then, yeah. of course, for your melee threats, just to that like probably first turn where they're not going to charge anyway, just to get them up the yeah. board really just quick. Just to force decisions, yeah. To force or to move, yeah. in future turns where they've cleared their first at their round of attacks, and yeah. then they have to get to the next thing like to mm. advance again, like. Or if you're playing an objective-based mission, to be able to advance and grab an objective across the board. Yeah. I really like Twisted Helix. I was a little unsure. Yeah. I knew the like plus one strength would come in mm -hmm. big there, but uh, you the know. The movement definitely was the standout. The movement yeah. was the thing that yeah. did that did the work, yeah. really. Because you say it's it's all about positioning in this game, so yeah. anything to add to that. And even if you notice throughout the game, and, and from turn one to turn four, or to mm -hmm. the end of turn three, it he moved like the gene sealers move so efficiently and they move yeah, just they like, just kept just like a gene look they just coming in pinch yeah. it around yeah and i was cornered back in and on, on the tallest building with only maybe four yeah. members left and yeah. everything was just like, i will say down. i was very worried after that first round of combat against oh, yeah. against your one yeah. right, Bulgren. Kinda, i was like yeah. i was like oh my god i'm not going to clear this thing yeah. and like i got lucky to mm -hmm. not die like my couple guys there I was like, I'm not going to clear him in this next round of yeah. combat. And, but then... Yorl Kraus. Yorl Kraus. And the rock <laughs> cutter just snipped, snipped him in, him in half. Yorl Kraus distracted him. He like, bop, 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 distracted him. <laughs> and then the, the clamps just... He, he, he didn't notice it, it came in in the next five minutes yeah. and just slowly You're compressing slowly. him. <laughs> and he's like, Whoa. what is happening? <laughs> yeah. Um, 
But yeah, uh, other than that, I so have to, cool. you know, I got to give, again, special MVP shout out to the Flamer oh as God. well, because uh, especially combined with the Twisted Helix, mm -hmm. um, he really made you worried. Yeah, he went because all he the way was, around. He was the in your zone the whole, mm -hmm. and it was like the first time, didn't actually kill a guy, but put yeah. a flesh wound on him. But then it was just like, He's there. Skulking like, around. Like, in the ooh, shadows. Ooh, ooh. Where is he coming out of? Like, ah, <laughs> Where's he going to be? I don't watch know. out. He's ah, ambushing ah, me. Oh, it's ah, crazy. Yeah. Um, I what did you think of the, uh, Ash Mill Tarm? I really like um, Vostroyan. Vostroyan really, was cool. It's yeah. really good. Um, I was shocked by it, really. I, I thought it was going to be just kind of like a rinky-dink kind of thing. Maybe kind of very too niche to really yeah. pay off, but it really did. If I thought I, it really paid off. It was really nice seeing, especially on those couple like open lines of sight yes. there. Like when you quit, when you killed Guar, I was really... I was, I was shocked, like, too. I was, I was like, like, oh, oh man. Yeah. Like, no. right. But um, suddenly you take away... You take. He was left out in the open. Yep. You take away, so you have no obscurement, and then you ignore the penalty right. for the long range, so exactly. you're just like... So it, it extends the threat range. And something that I really appreciated, it buffs up last guns, which is something yeah. you can take on mass, oh, in yeah. bulk, yeah. and it, you can take anything out with it, mm -hmm. which I mm -hmm. love. Um, shout out to my leader who a survived and also took out uh, your shotgun man in one just one go. Yeah, just that was it out, blew that was <laughs> super cool because you can imagine the shotgun guy. He's like running up. He he like slams his back into the wall and <laughs> whips around and he's like garbage day. <laughs> just blows him away. But then but yeah, but then uh, Senor Fancy had is like nah. Doesn't that. look at him. Just like. God, it's a, just that's, keep looking at the plan. Oh, it's always, it's man. always doing. Can you imagine like that that super cool moment where like he like comes around the corner and yeah. he just like boom, just caps him, and then he looks at the guardsman next to him and he's like, "If you don't do your job, you're next." <laughs> What's your excuse? Yeah, you got none. Oh man. Oh wow. But so good. Um, yeah, I I loved it. Um, taking a box caster was also sh shockingly helpful. I'm, I'm glad yeah. I brought it. I need to bring more of them so I can just kind of. Like yeah, yeah. More. Well, how much is a Vox caster? Like a couple it's, points? It's like five points, actually. Five points? That's it's, not it's bad. A, it's a five point upgrade yeah, to any, yeah, that's any, not uh, bad. any guardsman. Um, I need to not be so ra uh, reckless with my plasma. But then again, it's more fun. I don't mind. Yeah. Well, I will say uh, the plasma guy roasting himself on Overwatch. That, 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 was, a, that was a moment right that was there. That uh, was to a be moment. fair, I was, it shocked me strategic because it didn't give you the points. Yeah, because then I two. couldn't. Yeah, so, yeah. So no points because you killed yourself. And I was like, well, I. I so, you know, okay. pro tip when in doubt, just roast yourself and they can't get any points. There you go. Yeah. So, they can't make the charge either if you're not there. There it is. Um, great. Uh, and the mission was cool. I love terrain. The I, terrain was you know, great. not oh, to terrain. toot my own horn, I thought the terrain was cool. <laughs> Verticality is always a good thing. Yeah, yeah. It's well, so and, and so I had the one, I had the one um, corner piece there mm -hmm. with the little Gene Stealer drape yeah. over it and yeah. stuff. Uh, maybe should have put that more center board so it could be more of a center. But hey, whatever. But that's what I want to get. I want to get done with uh, the rest of those yeah, uh, exactly. terrain pieces. Have that same mm -hmm. aesthetic with uh, with maybe a little bit better and some moss growing on it and stuff like that. So right. I want to do that. Uh, you can expect. A little tutorial on how to do that stuff if you're interested in uh sometime in the future i'll make at some one. point who knows? yeah some point you know we'll do a little terrain tutorial on painting some of that stuff and any other big thoughts on the game uh oof, no uh, i definitely want to play more boards like that um i loved using uh second and third level because they gave me a lot more uh yeah. ability for the last guns to take shots and kill guys like war and mm -hmm. take them out early mm -hmm. so well it was cool having the first floor of the ruins be difficult terrain but then yeah. there's the second floor with the catwalks being like well you can go up here but yeah. there's no cover there's no cover so but it's all either... free movement yeah so you yeah. can just move super quick across it exactly. with no cover or you can be on the floor i think more and like get covered cool. yeah, yeah i mean that's that's pretty good so We'll uh, we'll look into doing more I mean, of that. We could always do like a like a crazy sump mission where we're playing on like some some fetid, flooded, mm. uh, toxic ground, and mm. it's all it's all dangerous terrain unless you go on the second level. That'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. I want to. I want. Yeah, I'll look into that. Maybe. Yeah, yeah doing some like some leakage mm, uh, and exactly. stuff like that. Very good. Awesome. Right. Well, uh, Rico, thank you again for coming over As and filming. Always. I had a blast. I hope it you was did. Super, super good. fun. I loved it. And of course, we hope you had a blast as well. So if you like these videos, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And let us know in the comments what you liked, what you didn't like. Again, remember those internet points. And uh, if you want to support the show, of course, make sure to subscribe. It's the easiest way to support us. Tell your friends to subscribe. We're inching ever closer to 1,000. We can do it. And, of course, we've so uh, we've got uh, these fancy little shirts here if you want to support uh, all that sort of links and stuff in the description. Uh, we have a little Patreon. There's no rewards 
yet other than just you get to be an awesome content. person. Just yeah, um, but you help us uh, grow the channel and yeah. uh, we'll pour more uh, effort into this stuff. So thank you so much for watching. Um, you can subscribe by hitting that button right there. And you can see another video either featuring the Guard or the Gene Stealer Cults uh, by hitting this button right here. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.